Taylor. I fight out of Central Illinois Combat Club, and I'm from Pekin, Illinois. Well, my name is Rafael Basaldua. Uh, I'm from Davenport. I've been training at MFS for about five months now. You know, I'm, I know what I can do at you know, this weight class. It's just, it's going to be different. Oh, the sport's huge. It's endless. You can learn anything. Even after you stop fighting, you can still train it. It's fun. It's almost a family sometimes. In my head, it's not, it's not about losing because that's, that's not going to happen. We're going to have fun and, uh, and we'll, see, we'll see what happens. But I think he's, uh, he's a good competitor. I've just come to fight. So I fought tough guys. I mean, I spent a lot of time at a weight class I shouldn't have getting losses, so don't look at the record, just come to fight. I just try to stay focused once I'm inside that cage, and it's just, uh, it's all about protecting myself and, and take it as a competition. And nothing, you know, like personal or anything like that. It's just a competition. I don't know, the win's more important, so. Anything that comes after that, I'll take it, but I gotta get a win. It's been, it's been several months, so I'm ready to get back in. Obviously, I'm going to try to win, the other guy is going to try to do the same thing, but uh, you know, the better man is going to come on top. Making his way to the cage tonight in our third fight of the night here at Cage Aggression 11, Mike Storm Taylor with the record of 8-7 and seven, representing Pekin, Illinois at a Central Illinois Combat Club. Oh yeah, you got somebody who has a ton of experience, so you know, there's not going to be the berserker mode that we saw in some of the other fights. This is going to be controlled, somebody who's really going to have things going, you know, and working on the things that they've worked on during their training. Exactly, and with a record of 8-7, and seven, he's been in there 15 times, so I don't necessarily look at, at the, the losses or win, but also uh, I think that, like you said, nothing's going to be new, and it's going to be uh, a controlled fight, and especially fighting uh, who's coming out now, uh, Rafael Bazaldua, um, it's going to be quite the fight, and let's introduce, making his way to the cage tonight, Rafael Bazaldua, uh, with a record of 10-3 and three out of Milicic Fighting Systems in Davenport, Iowa, and uh, let's just say, let's bring out Milicic, the first of 10 fighters right. on the card tonight. Uh, and he's going to kick it off right for his team. Uh, very, very ready for this fight. Yeah, whenever I see Rafael, like, the, the first thing I think of is he looks like a fighter. You know, if, if I was going to be intimidated, it would be intimidating to see somebody, you know, like him stepping into the cage and somebody who's, you know, definitely a seasoned veteran. We have a, a matchup here with guys who this isn't their first rodeo. These guys know exactly what they want to do. It's going to be a question of who's able to, to dominate and get their style across, you know, early on in the fight, I'm guessing. Yeah, I mean, and, and just look at the backing right now. I mean, what a backing with Militich in the house, Barb uh, Horacek, Horacek in, the, in his corner tonight, uh, just, just ready to go. And, and like I said, we we talked to Rafael before. Uh, he, he's ready to go. He's excited to be back on a cage aggression card. It's been a little bit. 
and I know he's excited to be here tonight, and that will show uh, he's very hungry for the win, even though he'll never say it. He's very hungry for the win. Uh, right. And, you know, he's, he's a pretty quiet guy, you know, during our during our run-ins that we've had with him. You know, he's a pretty quiet guy, and the, but that doesn't mean that, you know, he's he doesn't have the hunger, that he doesn't have the, the, the desire to, you know, come out on top. for our third fight of the night here at Cage Aggression 11. Rafael Bazaldua and Mike Storm Taylor in a lightweight matchup. Rafael Bazaldua representing the white Jocko Shorts. Mike Storm Taylor in the white bad boy. Referee Bruce Allen, ready for the action? Let's go. Already Rafael uh, looking for uh, doing great footwork and also good head movement to throw off Taylor. Just really waiting. Ooh. And Taylor coming Taylor, out really strong with those strong. those yeah, shots. Lands about two or three there, pulls guard uh, down at the guillotine right away early. Yeah, both guys, you know, coming out pretty strong right now. Um, who's going to be able to to, sh to show what they've trained, you know, for during their during their preparation for this fight? Even you know, even the even the guys who are veterans, you know, they their their adrenaline is pumping too, and you can see a little bit of that there. But Taylor, you know, things are settling down now. Exactly, and Taylor doing a great job looking around. Saw the cage right behind him, uh, and but pull, goes into a, a triangle, and Rafael just needs to posture up and get out of that. It's nothing new. And, and he's also Rafael's also smart during that when he got in the triangle, and the first thing he decided to do was you know land a few shots to the head. That'll get you to drop a triangle real quick. Oh. Raphael, big man. shot by Raphael. Right on top with more shots. Goes down and starts dropping huge hammer fists. Lands a big shot. Really important for Taylor to, to show that you know that, that he's okay right here right now. Another huge right hand by Basel Dua right there. Working the body, working the head. Uh, really, I mean, this is textbook body, body, head. Really, right now, yep. just, just smothering Taylor. And Taylor's uh, in the curl up right now. Really yeah, Taylor. Answer. Taylor's in a bad spot. He's gonna, you know, I don't really recommend giving up the back, but he might need to do that in order to quit taking these shots to the head. A big, big shot. Not, not letting him up this time at all. Yeah, Taylor's gonna have to show something right, right here to stop. And there we have it. Right on strikes. Right on time. You know, he he was a good stoppage right there. That was a good stoppage. You know, there was a solid. 20 to 30 seconds where, you know, you great, you, you great, great show of sportsmanship right there as Rafael Bazaldua uh, helps Mike Taylor up. Uh, back to his feet, uh, just proving again what kind of fighter and man he is. I was going to say, that that just shows the type of guy that this, you know, that he is. You know, you go in there and you you pound somebody for, you know, a, a solid 30, 30 seconds, 35 seconds. And, you know, but after the, everything is over, you know, you're over there trying to help him up. Um, just to show that, you know, it's not, it's not, it's, there's nothing... You know, there's no hard feelings. This is just business. This is what we're in here to do. So, and I had to do what I had to do. Exactly. And he was able to get the win because of that. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bruce Allen, 
Let's call the self for this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds into round one. Declaring your winner by referee stoppage due to strikes, Rafael. There you have it, Militich Fighting Systems fighter Rafael Bazaldu improves his record to 10-3 with the win over Mike Storm Taylor here tonight at Cage Aggression 11.